rising Venus sign and blessed new moon in Gemini. Doing this on the day of this five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon in Gemini to full moon next in Capricorn? I am your reader. Mark Angelo Lyons, friend to many of an Aquarian, professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions, the Archangel of Lyons, Mark Angelo Lyons. But you can call me Mal. Hey! <laughs> How y'all doing? I was up this morning. They got my guides woke my shit up. Uh, 5 a.m. to get ready for uh, that uh, new moon in Gemini today at 6.53 a.m. Uh, follow If you follow me on Instagram, you can see what I did. <laughs> it wasn't a lot. Uh, just put, left the prayer there. Oh, yeah, I actually copied it to uh, my uh, YouTube uh, community thingy, right? <laughs> Posts. So if you want to check that out, please do. Uh, let's get down to business. As I said, this is a five-card draw. What do I need read for a specific timeline? Five-card draw. One card from five different decks to get you the clues, tips, and hints that you need for, in this case, a uh, two-week period of a waxing moon from the new moon uh, today at the time of this recording uh, in Gemini Thursday, uh, June 10th, 6.53 p.m. But you see, it goes void, of course, Again, at the time of this recording at 1.36 p.m., which is a relatively small window if you work during the day to get your work done. It's then void, of course, until tomorrow, Friday, June 3rd, uh, 3.23 a.m. when it goes into Cancer. Now, Cancer Moon, it's still New Moon, even though it changed signs, right? Three days after the New Moon, that's the orb of it. Three days before is Dark Moon. You get three days of, of New Moon before it's officially uh, waxing. That's how I learned it. Uh, so lovely day for love magic, blessing your home, right? Cancer moon on a Friday, Freya's day, what's Frigga's day, right? Day of Venus Vandredi. So, uh, so cast when you're ready, because my guides are like, oh, with this Mercury retrograde, nobody cares when you put these readings out. Just put them out when you're ready. And now I am, now I am apparently. So we're looking at a waxing moon read to the full moon in Capricorn, uh, June 24th, 2.40 p.m. And what's interesting about this one is that this new moon in Gemini, Mercury, its ruler, is retrograde. And the full moon in Capricorn, Saturn, its ruler, is retrograde. So we got retrograde's book ending this fucker. And an eclipse? Yeah, that's a bit much. So I see why they wanted me to do the readings this way. Now, each of these decks is dedicated to one of the pantheons of the divine that I contracted to work with in this life before I ever came down into it. Uh, but it also represents, oh, we're doing three, uh, four oracles in a healing system. Uh, they also represent fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. Uh, the five magical elements. Uh, so for my witchy poos out there, for my pagans, this is a spell kit reading. Regardless of when you see it, uh, the, the information here will really be tapping into my pantheons to get you the deets that you need to cast. You'll see what I mean as we go. Uh, one thing I've been saying for my videos, and I don't know that I'm going to stop saying it, is that I do not understand why anybody would thumbs down any YouTube uh, reader, right? Uh, and I don't, it doesn't happen a lot on my channel, but I notice it on other channels. Um, because we all have to say it, right? It's a general read. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So when someone thumbs it down, and I really ask my guides, I'm like, why do people do that for a general read? They said, well, number one, they don't like that it's a general read, which makes no sense, but <laughs> do humans ever. The other is, is it is their read, uh, but they don't like what they hear, which is the human condition, right? Uh, and, and then they gave me a third one. Oh, the melodious sounds of the, of the garbage truck. I may have to pause this because that dumpster is right outside my window. Uh, the third one, and I, and, and I understand this one, particularly with Twin Flame Soulmate Romance Crazy uh, readings, the torture we put ourselves through on that stuff, where you just let somebody go and you're doing everything you can to heal your heart and they still are in the energy. I understand why you want a thumbs down, but don't, you know, don't kill the messenger. Like I said, I don't get a lot of thumbs downs on my readings. Um, but just be kind. Rewind. All right, uh, there's my soapbox. I'm down off of it now. Uh, all the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box. And all I can ask for anybody who's seriously into the work that I do here on the channel is both feet on the floor. If you can, focus on your breath, if you will. I will do the same. To be in the here and now and bring through the clarity, guidance, and grace that I can from my guides and my pantheons. Cool, cool? Please take a nice deep breath. Because I have been in spiritual practice and prayer since 5 a.m., Let's do this. I'm uh, going to start with uh, the magical spell cards 
from Lucy Cavendish. I think you have to say her name that way. <laughs> Just day. Ah, it's Lucy Cavendish. My, uh, I do here and now call upon my ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism who have been with me nonstop for this dark moon building up to this. Uh, what is the spell card, the spell fragment to help the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus on watching this video, receiving this reading, hone, define, clarify their element of fire, what it is they wish for, what it is they desire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, this new moon in Gemini, waxing too full in Capricorn. Please leave the card in my hand. Prosperity, Proserpina, uh, the Roman name of Persephone, uh, one of my goddesses, big time. Uh, uh, oh, teeny tiny font. As this tree goes strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine. It's a little wordy, but I think it says it. Right, let me try that again. <laughs> In teeny tiny writing. As this tree grows strong, so fine, so fine, <laughs> so fine, uh, so I, so may I prosper from the universal divine. So find a tree, right? You don't have to start it at an acorn, <laughs> right? But not a bad idea. Uh, because the new moon is all about planting seeds that then grow. So dig in that already. It's a very waxing moon. Let's keep going. There's your element of fire. Let's get you an element of earth from the crystal oracle. Now, earth, fire needs earth. It does. Fire needs fuel. So think of like the wood in the bonfire, right? This is your element of earth, but this is going to be the voices of Archangel Ariel, my personal archangelic lineage. I am an archangel. Like I was using it as a mnemonic device and then I was it just kept showing up. <laughs> it just kept showing up. And it's just like, oh my god, I'm a fucking archangel. Okay, whatever. Keep going. Keep rolling. Uh, she is one of the three archangels of the north, the powers of earth. So whether it's something written in the book, uh, the stone itself, whether you have it, whether you want to get it, it's just to get you uh, something, even a touchstone, right? Something to hold on to as you cast for prosperity or intend, whatever your art is. You get what I'm saying. Please take a nice deep breath. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, I love you, my beloved Archangel Ariel. Please, one card in clarity, a crystal oracle message for the Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sun, watching this video, receiving this reading, uh, to help them ground, focus, manifest, bring into physical form uh, this uh, spell, this intention for prosperity. What do they need? Even if it's just something written in the book, some little or oracular message they need, this new in Gemini to full in cap. Ooh, Tiger Iron. A little different than Tiger's Eye, Tiger Iron. It's way more red because it's got iron in it, right? So, uh, and it's really rusted tin roof. Uh, let me read this one. I, you know, I don't think I have any Tiger Iron. I have Tiger's Eye. <gasps> my lucky Tiger's Eye. <laughs> I will always do that. <laughs> it's in my DNA at this point. Thank you, Nicole Kidman. Then I read the book. Uh, always see the movie, then read the book. Uh, Tiger's Iron, and it's a two-pager. Buckle up. Here we go. Also known as Jasper. Uh, hematite and Tiger's Eye. Oh, that's why. So it's Tiger's Eye that grows with hematite. That does make sense. Uh, hematite's a whole deal unto itself. Your keywords are mental clarity. Good for an air sign. Grounding. Really good for Aquarians. Uh, assertiveness. I've never known an Aquarius that wasn't assertive. Vitality and mm, sexual energy. Because mm, it's your read, not mine. Uh, the peace and mental clarity you seek can only be found by grounding your abstract spiritual ideas and concepts into your everyday physical life. Whenever I take a new spiritual counseling client, and I do have a bunch, man, that's really, that's what I really do. And that's why this is the way it is, right? First thing I ask them, what is your daily spiritual practice? And when they go, huh? I'm like, there you go, <laughs> right? How can you expect to, to evolve spiritually and ground some of this stuff if you're not doing something every day? Now, you don't have to use it as a stick to beat yourself with. I won't use a spiritual practice to do that anymore. I used to. I'm going to get in the vortex, right? <laughs> Whatever. I have to do 10,000 hours of yoga a week, right? No, 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 no. I'm 52. Yeah, I know. I don't look it. You get to chill out as, as you get older, right? 
but there's something here about grounding your spirituality because you guys can be high visionaries, Aquarians, fixed air like the stratosphere, right? What does it take to bring something all the way down into form? Uh, let's see, uh, abstract ideas and concepts into your everyday physical life. That is to bring back the basics and honor the fact that the things that bring you back to the basic and honor the fact that you have been blessed with this physical life. Yeah, I know a lot of Aquarians who are floating heads. It's like, get in your body, people. They're, it's worth it. Then come kiss me, if it works. Uh, realize that while you are highly spiritual in nature, it is no mistake that you are here. Now, here's the thing. I used to think I chose this, and then I learned, no, you were chosen to play the role. Like, central casting sent you down here, and you didn't want to come back, but then they showed you Mark Angelo Lyons, and, and, and you went, oh, well, that's interesting. Purple-haired gay witch? Yeah, all right, let's give that a whirl. And so here I am. Uh, as has been uh, so eloquently said by several of our world's greatest teachers, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. So true. Um, and as such, you are being urged to honor your humanity, which is interesting because 11th house, Aquarius energy, is humanitarianism, amongst other things. Uh, you know, we are, we are the world, we are the children. Uh, this tiger iron crystal will help ground you and revitalize your sexual energy. <laughs> Both these qualities are needed in order to be, effect, to be an effective force on Earth and uh, to live a fulfilling and inspired life. Now, to be clear, that second chakra dynamic... A sexual energy, that's where you feel it, right? If somebody's hitting on you and you like it, it goes... <laughs> and if somebody's hitting on you, it doesn't go... <laughs> right? A second chakra dynamic. Um, but that is also creativity. And a lot of my Aquarian friends are um, artists, right? So they get these huge, gigantic downloads. But I have to say, that's why um, thunder only happens when it's raining and players only love you when it's playing. You're creative and sexual energy and it's connected to your finances. It's all second chakra dynamic. Read my book, Words of Grace, second chakra chapter. <laughs> Remember, spirit is not in the clouds. <clears throat> Fixed air stratospheric Aquarians. It is here, right in the thick of things, the Allen thick of things that the beauty, majesty, and power of spirit are experienced. You don't have to run away from the world in order to find peace. This is really deep. Uh, for, true pe for the true peace you seek is inside you. The true spiritual master is the one who's able to find peace even in the midst of turmoil. And they're even giving you an affirmation. You might want to play this back and write this one down. I may not have the power to change the world, but I have the power to change my perception of it. And Course in Miracles says, seek you not to change the world. Seek to change the way you see the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, now, in terms of prosperity, right, you're, that does make sense because it's like you may have this plethora of, of eighth chakra, crown chakra, third eye stuff, but you're still chewing on it here, use this to deliberately, because some drink at the fountain of knowledge, others just gargle. I swallow, do you? Comment below, no you might probably shouldn't. All right, really strong fire, really strong earth. Let's get you air. Uh, the Healing with the Angels Oracle. Who are the healing angels you need to think about, right? Pray about, read about, whatever. Be inspired by. Please take a nice deep breath. As I call upon my angels and archangels of air and the sign of Aquarius, my Raphaelites of the East, please. There you are. One card in clarity, please. Who or what is the healing uh, legion of angels at the Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading needs for their element of air in this reading. Uh, they got fire and prosperity. Fire needs air. It doesn't work, right? Uh, or a tiger's iron in earth, right? So who or what is the healing angel that they need for their element of air here, because they are air signs, this new moon in Gemini to full in Capricorn? Spiritual growth. I mean, this is this is 
what I call a puzzle piece reading, and they're all fitting together perfectly, right? So your prosperity, look, I know a lot of starving artists, and a chunk of them are Aquarians, not all of them. Uh, so very, very hard to manifest that in a world that is in such chaos, and yet chaos is divine order. So to be able to really bring this down into practicality, but in a way that does not beat yourself up because you are in a phase of spiritual growth now. The, uh, the question is here, if this is the healing angels of spiritual growth, what is their function? Mm, to make me grow spiritually. You're going to do that anyway. Course in Miracles says uh, you can, and this is a big paraphrase, you can learn through joy, you can learn through pain, but you will learn. <laughs> we will learn. We can't not. So that spiritual growth, you know, to maybe see that in a way that is more healing, particularly if you've survived a great deal of trauma, <clears throat> why would somebody cast for prosperity unless they've been dealing with lack? Course of Miracles. I've been back into the Course of Miracles. They dropped the book on my head a month ago uh, after some rather traumatic shit going on. Uh, so, uh, what are the, the, you cannot have a thought of fear without lack or a thought of lack without fear. And if you contemplate that, you'll see what I mean. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, here's where the aquariums <laughs> tend to want to empty the tank. The element of water. We are going to use the Whispers of Love Oracle. I love this deck. It is a party turner. All of a sudden, you're dealing with a soulmate. <laughs> all of a sudden, out of nowhere. I really love this deck, and it's dedicated to the voices of the higher selves of all involved. Please take a nice deep breath. For your element of air. Air. This is Jane Air. Oh, my goodness. Goodness gracious, please. The higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. Please, one card in clarity for the Aquarian Collective. Sun, moon, rising, Venus on watching this video, receiving this reading. They got prosperity and fire. They got tiger iron in earth. They've got spiritual growth in air. What is the emotional aspect of this? Because it is the energy in motion. Emotion, right? What's the point of doing the spell? If you're just going to be like, you know, like, what? What do you got for them higher selves this new moon in gem to full in cap? Spend quality time together. Now, you saw how long I shuffled that. The last reading I did, Capricorn yesterday when I did it, got the same thing. So you might want to check that one out as well. It is imperative that we uh, spend quality time with those we are in significant relationship with, listening to and talking to each other. Now, that, as I said in the, the, the Capricorn read, this kind of makes that a soul contract read, but it may not necessarily be romantic sexual. I mean, the sexual part is there in that tiger's eye, but that could also be for your creativity. I mean, and if you're looking for a sexual spiritual practice, well, there's the Eastern and the Western, and these are general camps with all sorts of schisms within, right? Tantra in the East, sex magic in the West. Just saying, right? You can Kundalini yoga yourself all you want to be bendy stretchy, but you're really... its uh, Tantra is not sexual yoga. Uh, it means weaving. Yoga means union. Tantra means weaving. I have studied both, and I'm integrating them both into my personal life. I will not be teaching that on YouTube. Uh, but certainly spending quality time together, maybe even clearing the air, talking to, listening to each other, and not just here, here, right? Uh, and, and people you are in significant relationships with. So just like that Capricorn read, usually when I do these five card draws, the Ascended Masters, I call General Assembly, which means all of them. Right, this is going to be for soul contract because it might be family members, it might be friends, regardless. This is your element of spirit. So let's say you cast this thing today, tomorrow, whenever. Actually, this would be better on a Friday moon in Cancer, but whenever you get it, you get it. Uh, uh, what this is going to do is sort of like spirit, the energy, drawing the circle productions, bringing people together with spirit since 1998. Like spirit, right? This is how you're going to charge it for the rest of the waxing moon to full. Please take a nice deep breath. Mm, yeah, my Ascended Masters of Soul contracts, you're just popping into my head, and, and, and I know a couple of the members there really well, so please, one card in clarity for my um, beloved Aquarian Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign friends watching this video, receiving this reading. What is the perfect healing mantra? From the Healing Mantra deck by Matt Kahn, I'm sure he's an Ascended Master reincarnated. If I'm an Archangel, he's probably an Ascended Master, and maybe we could meet up while well, he drinks kale smoothies and stuff. I'll have a tequila and a 
a beer, please. So please, uh, what is the perfect healing mantra that they need with this element of fire prosperity? As this tree grows so strong, so fine, so may I prosper from the universal divine with tiger's iron in the earth to help them ground their spirituality and maybe stimulate their second chakra creativity, sexuality there in the element of fire, spiritual growth, healing angels of spiritual growth in the air, spending quality time together emotionally in their element of water. What's the healing mantra to help them really charge this and get them healed and ready this new moon and gem to full in cap? Anchoring the light. There couldn't be a more Aquarian card in this deck. The light is always within me. This is a unity consciousness thing. You know, that's why when you hear about the age of Aquarius and all of that, well, the song, no. Harmony and understanding, sympathy and trust abounding, no more falsehoods or derisions, golden living dreams of vision, mystic crystal revelation, that's Pisces. Eh? Right? This is about unity consciousness. This is, a, this is totally Aquarian, particularly for your humanitarian, egalitarian, right? Anchoring uh, the light, the mantra, the light is always inside me. Let me read you from the bookie book. And then I'll put it together and give you a little prayersy prayer. Anchoring the light, the light is always within me, which is true. I mean, even Einstein would say E equals MC squared. It's in everything. Uh, when you anchor the light, you are accepting the infinite life force of the universe as your guardian, navigator, and companion. Spiritual growth. This is your jam. Uh, as you anchor the light, you are no longer a person trying to find the deeper meaning of connection, spiritual connection, maybe connection with others here. Uh, instead, you know yourself to be a living expression of connection, simply appearing in human form. You are the E that equals MC squared. That's what this is saying. Uh, this mantra is ideal for overcoming fear, reducing cravings, and making important life, life decisions. I just want to see, did somebody else get this? Hold on, greeting wellness, inviting ecstasy, anchoring the light. Gemini got that. Another air sign. That doesn't shock me at all. Huh, got planets in gem or dealing with one. You might... Uh, want to, and certainly if there is someone with Capricorn placements that you need to sit and talk to, you might want to. Please take a nice deep breath. As I call upon my collective pantheons of uh, my ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism, Archangel Ariel, the Raphaelite, angels and archangels, the higher selves of all involved, and the ascended masters of soul contracts, please may the Aquarian Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, I'm watching this video, receiving this reading, be blessed with all that they need, this new moon in Gemini waxing to uh, full in Capricorn, that they may call upon mentally and immerse themselves mentally into the healing angels of spiritual growth, working the mantra for anchoring the light. The light is always within me, working with a piece of tiger iron or something similar, maybe jasper if they have it, maybe hematite if they have it, but tiger iron if they can get it while they spend quality time together with the angels, with their guides, with their gods, with their masters, with their friends, with their family, with their lovers or close to, so that they may manifest their desire of prosperity. As this tree grows strong so fine, so may they prosper from the universal divine for the well-being of all, and with harm to none, as I will it, so let it be done. <sighs> so let it be. It was a really good read, guys. Look, if you liked it, like it. You want more? Subscribe. You want to follow along? Follow along. You want, you want me to read you? I'll read you for felt. Find me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, or Facebook. Or send me a private message because so much email is going to my spam filter when people. That's what are you gonna do? 
jointhecircle at gmail.com. Uh, but certainly I've been doing uh, YouTube video call reads, which are lovely. Uh, uh, been doing Zoom. The quality is better on, on uh, Facebook, gotta say, but Zoom you can record it. So if you want me and you need me, I'll be here. <laughs> reach out, reach out and touch someone. My uh, lovely aqua lungs, I do love you all so much. You're such good friends. You're the freaks of the zodiac and you tend to embrace me with open arms. So thank you so very much for watching. Truly in gratitude here uh, for the work, career, vocation, which are the next readings I'm going to start working on tomorrow. So uh, wishing you the very best and the very blessed of this new moon in gem waxing to full and cap my beloved aqua lungs. Hail. Well, and blessed, blessed day.